As Colorado recovers from the floods in September, we're dealing with high water levels right now. This is the St. Vrain, and at this moment, the National Weather Service has issued minor flooding advisories for four major rivers, though. The Big Thompson, the Cache La Poudre, the South Platte, and the St. Vrain, based on the fast-moving water levels you can see right here. But they're not done here in Alliance with dealing with September. This is McConnell Drive. As you look to the south and the west, you can still see cones, quite a bit of damage in place from those floods. And that's not all. There are also some homes that pose a risk. Emergency managers in Boulder County have taken a look at these homes and decided that because of the high water levels we're seeing, if they were to slide into the water, they would pose a significant risk to people downstream and also even upstream if the water were to back up. So they've got homes ready for demolition. There's one here in Lyons. It's just a bit past the main drag as you head towards Estes Park on Apple Valley Road. We took a look at that area. It's scheduled to start later this morning. There are three other homes like it in Larimer County and then Glen Haven neighborhood. But it gives you some idea how devastating those floods were that we're still dealing with trying to demolish these houses that pose a risk. And at the same time, unfortunately, dealing with all of that rain and that snow melt, creating some issues Definitely concern. You want to stay away from these waterways. Don't get too close today. Of course, we know what happened in the Larimer County area uh, yesterday. But today, the goal is to try to demolish some of the houses still left behind from eight months ago. We're live in Lions this morning. Tyler Lopez, 7 News Now.